have a seat uh, aditya good afternoon. good afternoon have a seat aditya has uh, is from lucknow uttar pradesh yes sir and aditya has done electrical engineering yes sir and uh, that is your optional and also btech yes sir you are uh, work you work for some time as an analyst yes sir um you are fond of studying about dinosaurs yes sir and evolutionary science behind relationship dynamics yes sir so okay aditya tell me what do you understand by taj trapezium sir uh, it is an area around the taj uh, mahal which has been reserved to to ensure that pollution does not harm the taj mahal so any new construction etc has is restricted in that particular region uh, i'm yeah, i'm unable to recall the uh, can you tell me approximate area of taj trapezium sorry sir i'll have to read about it you can read about it it's about 10000 km square kilometers thank you sir now do you think is nationalism is on the rise in uttar pradesh and is it good and uh, tell me what is nationalism and where do you uh, draw a line in nationalism sir uh, nationalism in my understanding is the feeling that uh, we belong to the particular nation and the nation belongs to us this is the kind of feeling that uh, exists in uh, nationalism and uh, i do think that uh, nationalism is But that is similar to patriotism difference there is a difference between nationalism and patriotism sir uh, one of the differences i can see is that uh, nationalism says that our resources uh, are meant for the betterment of us and the priorities should be given to us uh, instead of uh, to others this is what i am able to recall you can go and slightly read more about it nationalism and patriotism you see the patriotism doesn't speak ill of any other country yes sir. but nationalism feels that our country is the best you see yes sir so uh, now tell me do you think nationalism is on rise in uttar pradesh and is it good sir uh, i would say that it is a bit on the rise however i would not say that it is uh, bad because uh, a feeling of nationalism motivates people to do much more for uh, their country mm -hmm. than what uh, they would have done without uh, that particular feeling Okay, my last question to you. Yes, sir. What do you understand by Notanki? Notanki is very famous in Uttar Pradesh. Yes, sir. It is a form of drama. Hmm. Uh, that is all I am able to recall currently. Okay, then just add one more thing. Can you name some of the freedom fighters from Uttar Pradesh? Sir, can I take a moment? Yes, please? sure. Why not? sir uh, one of the freedom fighters i will recall is uh, shri choudhary charan singh ji uh, that's what i will recall currently okay thank you thank you sir aditya yes sir 73rd and 74th amendments yes sir have ensured the political decentralization but not administrative decentralization yes sir what is your comment on it and what is the way out sir uh, i do think that administrative administrative decentralization has not been ensured in its uh, fullest capacity because still we see that uh, there is a concept of overlordship of the uh, dm uh, in terms of uh, the developmental activities and i think that we need to devolve more power as well as more funds and even empower the local bodies to generate their own funds to ensure that uh, the the uh, the participative democracy is upheld to its best okay can you tell me in brief a snapshot view of the indian foreign policy since 1947 till date sir uh, initially we focused uh, a lot on uh, building our own capacity because we did not have enough uh, food also and we re we relied on the pl480 scheme for wheat so once the green revolution was done in uh, in uh, correspondence with the other nations then we started uh, making uh, in parallel we were also making our uh, stand that uh, we are in favor of the non aligned movement so we would not want to align can you tell me phase wise year wise phase wise and each phase either comes to an end or begins with a very important event so can i take a moment to think yes
sir so nam uh, was uh, began ar- around the end of the 1950s hmm. and uh, with that we sh- we shifted our focus to uh, non alignment along with uh, many partner countries okay however uh, we saw a bit of tilt that india took in 1971 war uh, yeah, where by before that something happened something happened in 62 yes sir there was uh, the india china war in uh, 1962 okay so i will advise you Yes, to prepare six phases of indian foreign policy okay. it is very much being discussed our minister minister of external affairs has very succinctly put them out so yes, that will be worth going the three yes thank you sir okay so do you feel that the basic structure doctrine has led to the over over uh, reaching by judiciary sir uh, in my opinion uh, the basic stru- structure doctrine is essential to ensure that the basic tenets of the constitution which were envisioned by our forefathers are stuck to and in that sense i would say this is not uh, an example of uh, judicial overreach rather it is an attempt to preserve the basic features of the constitution intact thank you thank you sir aditya you are an electrical engineer yes sir what is the future of electrical cars considering that uh, our prime minister has launched a national hydrogen mission recently and hydrogen also is being is to be used as a fuel yes sir sir uh, in my understanding uh, these both would proper uh, would probably exist as parallel mechanisms just like we see today that few cars are running on petrol few are running on diesel few are running on cng apart from that there is also an element of commonality between the two whereby we see that fuel cells can be used to uh, power electric cars via the use of hydrogen so that is another thing i would be looking forward to apart from that there are numerous startups which are coming up in the same segment so we would also see indigenization of But will hydrogen uh, as a fuel uh, be more uh, economical sir it would be difficult to comment at the current uh, scenario uh, however i would hope that both of them would become uh, pretty competitive but it is not uh, easy to see which one of them would dominate okay you know something about rti act yes sir it was brought uh, it was brought about okay. to ensure transparency okay uh, but is it successful is india yes sir it has been largely successful uh, mm-hmm. however it has a few uh, issues related to it which are pointed out uh, time and again for example uh, a large number of rejections uh, were seen up till very uh, recently and however now the rejections have come down apart from that uh, i also read a few reports pointing out that uh, Uh, various coercive uh, where various rt acti- activists have to face coercive measures by the general public so those uh, are the major challenges that the rti act cur- currently faces what happens uh, if the officer concerned is not in a position to supply the information sought is there any penalty sir uh, i'm i am unable to recall if there is a penalty or not however uh, the the rejection uh, can be done in the, in particular cases like say under section 8 of the rti mm-hmm. apart from that it is compulsory to provide uh, rti information within a particular time span it never happens the ground realities are very different you know even political parties are outside the purview judiciary is outside the purview of rti act and cic is being controlled by the government directly sir uh, i would say that uh, there are certain uh, things which have been uh, put outside the uh, purview of the uh, of the definition of public authority such mm-hmm. as the judiciary because that was essential to maintain the independence of the judiciary which is also a basic feature of the constitution okay one last question yes sir you come from lucknow what is lucknowi tehzeeb lucknowi tehzeeb yes sir what is it sir uh, tehzeeb refers to the uh, word culture and uh, there are few prominent examples of uh, lucknowi culture for example tunde kebab and other cuisines of uh, lucknow are very famous apart from that the architecture style of uh, uh, avadh which uses uh, things like uh, lakhori brick and and surkhi and other eatable materials to construct the bada imam bada etc it's not tehzeeb you know yes it's sir a different thing altogether tehzeeb is something else yes sir uh, th- these are also components of the culture the main thing that tehzeeb refers to is the uh adab or respect and all those things which uh, is associated with uh, lucknow uh you working at goldman sachs yes sir how is that company so 
it is a good company it uh, it is one of the finest uh, american banks <coughs> recently the magazine the economist characterized as a goldman sachs that means that uh, something is not right about it do you know being an analyst can you analyze your own company sir actually i left the company in 2020 so i oh okay you are no longer there no sir i left in september 2020 However, one of the major things that happened recently was large number of uh, layoffs, as mm-hmm. is evident in the entire IT sector. So that is something which can be troubling the company currently. Okay, because it was uh, described as Goldman Sachs. Anyway, now you are electric engineer. Yes, sir. Tell me the advantages of hundred and ten volt and sixty hertz. sir uh, one of the major advantages of 110 volts is that uh, it reduces the uh, probability of people getting uh, shocked and uh, dying from the shock <coughs> that extra 10% uh, is given to ensure that the voltage drop is compensated during the transmission so these are the two major ch- uh, advantages of this system then why people use 220 and uh, 50 hertz sir uh, the initial setup which was done during the times of tesla was uh, according to 110 50 and 60 hertz in 60 hertz is still, still used in usa etc however now uh, how in india we are uh, focusing on 50 hertz uh, i'll have to read a bit about the reasons uh, why the differentiation okay you are also interested in mass extinction etc evolutionary yes sir uh, tell me what caused ice age there have been several cycles yes, uh, what cause is there sir uh, mainly it is about uh, for example the ice age that, that happened just after the extinction of dinosaurs that was because the asteroid impact had happened and uh, the dust had been thrown into the atmosphere that had blocked the uh, sun rays from reaching the earth and that led to subsequent cooling down of uh, the earth for the next hundreds of thousands of years that was one of the major uh, things so it has been only once sir as far as i can recall there have been more than 6 cycles of uh, ice age ha ah, so all of them had the same reason uh, no sir uh, the others had uh, different reasons uh, for example one of the ice age happened because uh, uh, the the carbon dioxide levels had fallen down and uh, there was a blip after the end uh, during the tertiary period there was a blip in the carbon dioxide levels that uh, reduced the uh, that reduced the uh, the greenhouse effect and f- and led to the uh, ice age and uh, the, there have been many m- uh, events of mass extinction yes sir and that is also because of the same sir few uh, extinctions have been because of uh, ice ice age but most of them have been for very different reasons for example volcanic eruptions uh, led to the mm. end of the permian period and the beginning of the triassic period which uh, led to the dinosaurs apart from that at the end of the uh, cretaceous period okay, so that. some people argue that this kind of cycles are part of the nature then why are we so conscious about uh, environment now even when man was not there these things happen uh, yes sir uh, but i would like to say that uh, these things happen at their own slow pace what we have done is that we have sped up the process of uh, extinction because we have uh, heated the earth at much faster rate than what it have okay. happened uh, thank you. naturally thank you thank you sir you are the most economical baller yes sir and how do you economize economize on li- in life with your various habits sir uh, the most important thing i try to focus on is uh, time management so i try to allot uh, my day according to the targets that i have for the particular day and uh, even prepare long term plans okay that's all right what about economizing resources so that you conserve in your own little way the resources of the earth sir i try to adopt a minimalistic lifestyle whereby i uh, try to ensure that i am not spending on uh, various lavish things uh, especially uh, in the current scenario where we see that uh, even clothes are becoming are making atacama desert uh, a dump site where we see that uh, fast fashion is hampering the environment so those kind of things i try to avoid i try to minimize the number of clothes and the number of uh, shoes etc that i use so this is the kind okay. of uh, thing now you were uh, working with goldman sachs you had everything one of the fine finest companies in the world to work for yes sir so a great reputation an excellent uh, remuneration which you won't get here for next 20 years or 15 years yes sir so why are you leaving all that and 
coming here where you start from 70 80000 rupees sir uh, my prime motivation there was that uh, while working for the goldman sachs i was also uh, volunteering for something called the annashetra uh, during the weekends so that made me realize after a careful thought that uh, uh, only money and only working for a few balance sheets cannot mot keep me motivated for my entire life and I, th I thought that I have to look for much more of a human impact. Apart from that, uh, there was also an element of uh, diversity and uh, the kind of uh, career path that the civil services of offers which uh, was absent in the uh, company Goldman Sachs. So these were the prime motivators. So should we tell all guys who are doing BTEC and MTEC that this is a very limited field that you are going to work and therefore eventually you will end up doing something else. So you are wasting government's effort and money by doing VTEC, MTEC? Sir, uh, in my understanding it depends a lot on the personality mm. because not everyone gets attracted towards diversity. There are many people even in my uh, friend circle who find pleasure in working for research and doing specific tasks like trying to master one particular subject to such a core depth that they forget what else is there uh, to learn. So that is the kind of thing that few people get motivated towards. It was also part of personality, I would say. Right. Have you heard of Indo-Sri Lanka Accord 1987? Uh, sorry, sir. I'll have to uh, read about it. I think it was uh, around uh, the uh, Tamil uh, war, Elam war, which was going on at that time. But I'm unable to recall the provisions uh, of that. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Read about it here. <coughs> okay. So... Uh, Aditya, we will take you back to the waiting room for a while. Yes, sir. Just stay there and we will call you for the feedback. Okay. Thank you, sir. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. Aditya, first of all, you have to tell me when is your interview? Sir, I have not received the date yet. So, plenty of time with you? Yes, sir. Tell me how many, uh, this is the, how many attempts have you made to the UPSC? This is my second attempt going on. And first interview? Yes, sir. Okay. How have you done your mains this time? Sir, I would say, like, apart from the electrical paper, one rest were good in my understanding. There, I, I think I would have made uh, at least 10, 15 mark, marks more I should have got. Okay. So, how many mocks have you done so far? This is my third. Third mock. Yes, sir. Some more to go after this also. Yes, sir. Tell me, how do you perform in this particular mock? Sir, I think that there were a few, or I would say there were uh, some lapses in my knowledge. Which were the lapses that you think? Uh, sir, uh, especially the one the, about the electrical that uh, sir had asked, that I think I should have known. Apart okay. from that, a few accords and the foreign policy, those are the things that I should have answered better. Okay. All right. So, Aditya, first of all, let me say that your articulation and communication is ex excellent. Thank Absolutely you, sir. fine. And um, your choice of right words, you are not using pedestrian language or layman language, they were technical words, good words, chosen carefully, structuring was fine, uh, send the delivery was also quite smooth, no pauses in between. Your uh, facial expressions, your demeanor, your eye contact, your scanning, uh, your modulation, your intonation, everything was perfect. Okay, thank you sir. Dress is also absolutely fine. Okay. And uh, coming to now uh, your knowledge part, so, one was, that, of course, that you were having good knowledge, your answers were very rational and logical in most of the cases. I asked you about the Taj trapezium, you knew part of the answer. Part of the answer you can prepare how many, uh, what is the area of that. So, that, yes. so there is the supplementary question also try to prepare. That if after this question another question is asked, so you should have a complete knowledge. Yes. That's about it. But your mental alertness was very much there. You had a balance of judgment. So, pros and cons you were able to see and uh, presence of mind was also there. Uh, clarity of thought was also. The answers were succinct to the point, not very long. All these to go in your favor. Coming to specifics, I would like to only mention that since your performance has been very good, I don't have to t tell you much about it except the fact that Lucknow and Uttar Pradesh prepare that quite well. Lot many things can be tell, told about the historical, religious, cultural, socio-economic, uh, situation in Uttar Pradesh and in Lucknow. Okay. Yes, sir. Then, uh, for example, if, if I asked you this question, which not many people know, that Lucknow is a part of a group of uh, group of uh, uh, towns. Now, what is that group called? Sorry, sir. I'm, I'm you are not, not aware. Yes, sir. Have you heard the name of Kabal? Yes, sir. So, what is Kabal? 
Sir, I am unable to recall at the moment. Okay. okay. So, Lucknow is a part of Kewal towns. Okay. okay. Kanpur, Allahabad, Lucknow, Varanasi okay. and Agra. Okay. Okay. okay? Yes, sir. So, uh, uh, about Lucknow and Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh, the investor summit is going to be held. Prepare that on that. Yes, sir. What are the strengths of Uttar Pradesh? What are the some of the controversial things about Uttar Pradesh? So, bulldozer and police encounters, love jihad. These yes, are some of the things. Positive side, infrastructure, expressways, the industrial climate, positive uh, vibes, the, the power situation is good, the labor situation is also good, cheap labor, cheap land, all yes. these things go in favor of the uh, investor. Okay. Yes. And then coming to uh, your own subject, electrical uh, engineering, I think there are lot many questions which can be asked. Uh, Self-sufficiency in electric power in this country, what is the percentage of thermo uh, power from thermal power plants, what is from hydro power plants and so on. Yes, and also how far have we reached in the nuclear power situation, you see. Yes, what is non-conventional energy sources, how far have we progressed in that. Okay? Yes, then uh, coming to electric uh, cars, now electric cars would use electric power. You see, yes. because the batteries have to be charged. Yes. If the batteries are getting charged from the same power which is being made by thermal power, then there is hardly any uh, advantage. Either you produce power, first of all, the base power should be from non-thermal sources. Only then you can take care of the, this, the environmental problem. But nevertheless, the fuel, the dependence on fuel, fuel, fossil fuel will be definitely reduced as yes. a result of electric. So electric. Uh, then driverless vehicles, hydrogen powered vehicles, the future of vehicles in this country. Yes. Associated would be the problem of traffic congestion. So traffic congestion is again impinging upon the environmental issues. So what is congestion tax introduced in many other countries? What is NGT doing regarding reducing corrupt, uh, traffic congestion on the road? So the LPG vehicles and the CNG vehicles and so on, everything about this. Yes. Now coming to uh, some other areas, so electrical engineering, uh, you also understand some basic concepts. What is volt? What is kilowatt power? What is ampere? Basic things, but people sometimes are not in a position to answer that. What is piezoelectric current? You know? okay, sir. So what is the flow of electrons, photoelectric effect? What is a cell? You see, how electricity is produced from the cell? Why it has become compulsory to install solar power cells on the roof of the houses? Yes, sir. These are all measures related to electrical engineering. Then coming to IIT, so since you belong to IIT Kanpur, so the question normally is asked is, are we not diluting the effect of the institution of IITs by opening so many IITs and IIMs? Yes. So that again is something which is often asked. Coming to general uh, things like uh, you are studying about dinosaur, dinosaurs, well, number of questions were asked regarding evolution, prepare well on that. Yes, and it's an interesting topic, some people definitely would be tempted to ask questions on that. Yes, Evolutionary science behind uh, relationship dynamics related to a dinosaur. Then um, you have given your first preference at Uttar Pradesh, uh, yes, Kader, and your services of course IES, IPS and then other yes, services. Sir. Coming to some general ideas which I would like to mention to you. One of course was the state, the other is regarding the constitution. So, uh, constitution is one area where lot many questions can be asked. So, vice president, president, speaker, their role, uh, the yes. election yes. and also how uh, the impeachment can be done of judges and also of president. Okay? Yes, when does president invite both the houses of uh, houses to address them? How many times? Uh, when is budget presented? Why the budget is presented on 1st February now? Earlier it used to be on 21st 28th of February. Okay. okay yes. Then what are the important hallmarks of present budget? Go through the, the salient points. Okay, the sir. economic uh, survey of India. And also, uh, please read through um, the Niti Aayog website. It provides a very good bird eye view about the future of this country. Okay, sir. Just five or things which you uh, need to prepare more. The one is GS2, GS4 paper. Even though you have done it, but lot many questions in personality tests are asked on the values and ethics which are required in a public servant. Okay. Some of the ethical situations in which you can be put in, which is a, uh, the part B of your GS4 paper, yes, case studies. Yes, so that kind of question will also be asked. And you have to always stand on the right side of ethics. You have to be ethical. So the answer has to be ethical. If a, if a wrong order is given to you by a minister, you will say that it is wrong order, you will not implement it. You will not say that since he is my master and he is controlling, you will not say that. Yes. Then coming to the United Nations and the institutions. Okay. Okay. The foreign policy of India, 
SDG, MDG and also the indices which are there. Good governance principle will be already been in GS2 paper. Hmm? Okay, sir. This is overall situation. If you have any questions to ask, you can ask us. Sir, I wanted to ask two questions. Firstly, about my speech. So, was I speaking fast and... Uh... No, absolutely normal. There is absolutely nothing wrong with your speech. Okay. If someone tells you, just ignore it. Okay. You are absolutely... The, the way you are, absolutely correct. And second, was I visibly nervous? nervous not at, at least all. In the initial. No nervousness. Okay. If, even if it was, it, it was not apparent. Okay. Sir. Where it, you were nervous? Sir, at least initially, the first five minutes definitely. <laughs> you don't have to be. Your board will be very comfortable. Okay, sir. You will they, do extremely well. They only want to bring out the best in you. Yes, sir. So don't worry about it. <laughs> and some of the questions you can… Just take a pause, then think, then come out with the answer. Don't be in a hurry to answer. These are some general things. Always give examples in support of your answer. Okay, sir. That will make your answer very good. Okay, sir. And controversial questions, give both the sides. Okay, sir. Do not go along one particular direction. Give both the sides. These are the things. One more thing, sir. Uh, actually, due to the corporate culture, I had a, I have a habit of saying, okay, sir. Uh -huh. so, uh, I've been told that okay word should not be used. So. If it can be avoided, it is better. Okay. Yeah. You should say, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes is better. Don't even say ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. You know, some people have this habit of ya. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. That will be See, it. See, okay has a connotation of approval. That you are approving whatever has been said. And that is why I avoid it. Yes. You have to be uh, having humble humility. That is the answer. Okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. And when you come, you must use sir or ma'am. We noticed that you just said good afternoon. You must address the lady member and the gents member, okay. sir and ma'am, yes. sirs and ma'am. Okay. And you, tie sir. should be slightly longer. Okay. The tip must touch the belt. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. All the best to you. Thank you Thank for you. your success.